Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's up, guys? Ace Money here. Sportsbook Robbery. So, uh, this is for July 5th, Friday. Got a couple games on the slate. Three. Um, go over the lines real quick. Nothing crazy. We got Dream vs. The Wings. Opened up at minus one. Dream is the favorite. Uh, it flip flopped. Then out of Underdog. Uh, find him at plus two. Be the best odds. Uh, over under 166 and a half. Stayed the same. And uh, like I said, Dream started as the favorite. And they opened up. Uh, they are now the underdog. Plus 110, 115s. The best you can find them at. So it should be a close game. Get some uh, stats going there. Good for the player props. Second game, 10 o'clock game, we got Aces versus Sparks. Uh, Aces on a back-to-back. -back. They won today. Uh, big favorites, minus 12. Stayed the same right now. Still at minus 12. Uh, over on the 169.5, that's still the same. Find it at 170, but other than that, it's the same. Uh, Big-time favorites, minus 800. But, uh... They're on a back-to-back, -back, so who knows? I'm not saying they're going to lose, but the game must, might be closer. And then you got another 10 o'clock game. You got Sky versus uh, Seattle Storm. Open up a plus 10. Sky is on the door of Chicago. It's at 9.5 right now. 10, 9.5. Uh, 161.5 must be the number for the day. It stayed the same. And uh, plus 370 for the sky. It's basically the same right now. 370, 380. It's real late Thursday night, uh, Friday morning. 2 a.m. So not many lines are out. But uh, they did come out. Uh, got a few play props I'm going to jump into. Let's get into them. Uh... I feel entitled to say it's been a pretty shitty couple of days. And uh, as you all know, I say this all the time, the place I give you, I bet. And shit, I don't think I cashed one bet yesterday. And that hurt my pride. Uh, since making this channel, it's been a little more difficult. I've been, uh, I feel like I'm kind of overanalyzing things and I'm digging deep in it, deeper into things than I should. Um, there's plays that I have in my head immediately when I see a slate, see a team. I know who's going to score and what's going to happen. And then when I start looking through stuff, you know, some of the stats don't line up, this don't line up. And I second guess myself and then I start going with other shit. And then I watch the games. And everything that I was going to play immediately starts cashing. And then uh, I'm freaking, <laughs> you know, I start freaking. And, uh, and and then that's leading into my next set of plays. And then I'm like, or, or, or I pick someone who's been scoring real well. The next game, they shoot the ball three times. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I go into it. So basically what I did today was... There's not too many uh, lines out right now, but just going off my head and what I think is going to happen, I looked at the lines, I looked at the plays. I mean, stats look good, and I'm running with them. So first up, we got Alicia Gray, points over 16.5, minus 120, FanDuel, DraftKings. Always line shop, all line. Last five games, she went over this four out of five. Uh, points allowed, Dallas is 12th, it's last place, so they allow a lot of points. 
and when we went over the lines, I think it was like 160, 167. So it's basically a normal gain than expected. So she should have her normal points. She plays plenty of minutes, shooting the ball real well these last five games. 45% from the field, 40% from the threes, 83 from the foul line. Uh, it's averaging over these last five games, 19 points. So the line's at 16 and a half. So everything's saying she should go over this. I was going to play it the other day, and like an idiot, I didn't, and she killed it. Killed it, killed it, killed it. And I'm over here, I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, Alicia Gray points over 16 and a half. Let's get it. All right, next up, this is the second game, uh, Chicago versus Seattle. I was going to go with this play last time, too, and she killed it. Uh, Kennedy Carter, we've played her before. It's so, uh, minus 110 right now on DraftKings, uh, 17 and a half points. It's gone over this last four times. Um, last five games, she's averaging 20 points. Been shooting the ball real well at 26 last game. She got accepted in an all-star game. Uh, field goals shooting 57%. 25 from three. She don't really shoot threes at all. She's averaging 0.8 attempts a game. So one attempt a game, if that. Free throws, 80%. So she's shooting real good, and she's putting up plenty of attempts. She's primary uh, ball scorer, one of them. Uh, should easily go over this. Head-to-head, uh, -head, she did not go over this. They played back the beginning of May, but uh, she only played a short amount of minutes beginning of the season. I don't know if she was hurt. I don't know what was up with her, but she wasn't playing that long over here. She's playing uh, minutes her way down. 14, 15, 16 minutes. It's almost just doubling that now, so that's why it looks so bad over there. But uh, yeah, let's cash it. Kennedy Carter should have never, should have never went away from her. All right, this one, uh, Marina Marbury. Uh, points, I'm going under 14 and a half, minus 110. DraftKings. Uh, for the year, 50% hit rate. Last five games, 60. Last 10, 70% hit rate. Uh, she's been shooting the ball real shitty. You know, she has games where she goes off, but... For the most part, she's been doing pretty bad. Uh, Seattle's defense is fourth in points allowed, so they're pretty hard to score against. They are. They are they're actually playing defense. The last couple games, I'll break it down a little smaller for you. She has uh, she had eleven points and four points. She got benched last game. Shot two for eight and got benched. Game before that, she shot four for 17. So she's definitely been uh, regression, going down. And, uh, you know, I hate to wish bad on somebody, but I hope she continues to do bad as I'm betting the under. So we're going to be under 14 and a half points. Uh, I did have Reese rebounds, and I, I'll probably play Camilla. Look out for the pin comments. Reese's rebounds two minutes ago. It's two thirty in the morning, but uh, came out at twelve and a half, and already jumped up to thirteen and a half. I was comfortable at twelve and a half, but I mean she had seventeen, eighteen rebounds, so she'll still probably go over. But we'll see what happens. If it comes down, I'll play it. If not, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, look out for the pin comments. <clears throat> right now, we got Marbury under. All 
All right, next up we got Harry McDonald. Watched her play the other the other night. Uh, she went off two nights ago. Uh, over twelve and a half points, minus one fourteen. Fanduel DraftKings. Uh, beginning of the year, she wasn't playing too many minutes. Not many at all. Minutes just started picking up. So a stat line for the year is not that good. But as you see, these last, this last month, she's been going over this. So uh, if I break it down to, let's say, the last 10 games, a lot of green. Um, they're playing uh, Vegas, the Aces. They're on a back-to-back. -back. They just played last night. Tonight they played. So I'm not saying they're gonna do bad, but uh I'm gonna be a little more tired. And uh Los Angeles hasn't played for two days, so they got a little bit of rest behind them. But she's been shooting the ball real well. Uh forty-seven percent, thirty-nine from threes, ninety from the free throw line. So, Putting up plenty of attempts. So she's going to go over this. This line's not going to be at 12 and a half for much longer. Uh, last 10 games, 70% hit rate. For the last 10 games, she's averaging 14 points. Um, so yeah, hopefully she keeps it up. A little six, a little six baskets. One foul shot. Ari McDonald points twelve and a half. All right. The last one I got is uh Derek and Hamby. Uh we hooked her a couple times, a couple times we cashed her. I'm going this time. Points, rebounds, and assists over thirty and a half right now. Line will probably get bumped by tomorrow sometime. Uh, minus 110 on FanDuel. Uh, Vegas, like I said, they're on that back-to-back. -back. Uh, points allowed, they eighth. Rebounds allowed, they eighth. And assists allowed, they seventh. So, you know, for the defending champs, it's, there's only 12 teams. So all of them, you know, it's three quarters of the way. But uh, last five games, she's went over this three times. She's averaging 31 points, rebounds, and assists in these last five games. For the year, she's gone over this. She's hit this 68% of the time. Last 10 games, 60. Last five, 60. So she had a little rough patch, but she's getting back to it. Uh, just got accepted to the All-Star game as well. She's shooting 51% from the field, 43 from three. Uh, she only shoots about two threes a game, so she's making one of them. Uh, free throws, she could get better on them, 61%. But uh, she's grabbing 10 rebounds a game, and she's getting a couple assists. Last couple games, seven assists, seven assists, five assists. So if she gets her points, uh, they got her points on, I think, 17 and a half. Get around there, get them 10, 11 rebounds she normally gets, and a couple assists. This way, we got a little wiggle room with either or, whether she goes up in the points, say she scores 20, she get a little less rebounds, or whatever the case may be. But I uh, should cash. Derek Hamby, she's a beast. She out there bowling. Um, if you could like the video, new viewers, please subscribe. Turn the notifications on. Um, I'm going to drop some pinned comments or plays in the community. Maybe a, a slip if I see anything else I like to put out there. Uh, you know, it's good to get pics from people, but it's also good to, you know, I like to, to share how I got my picks and different knowledge and techniques just for sports betting. So we can commit that sports book robbery. You know, so make sure you line shop. Uh, I say this all the time. If, you, if you're if spending more money per play 
fault line, the line's back. As you've seen today, how many how many plays did, did I lose by one point or one assist or a half? Or, you know what I mean? If I would have all lined it back, I would have cashed them. You know, uh, it's just uh, it's unfortunate for myself that I don't have that bankroll to for my unit size to be that big. But um, I'll get there one day. But uh. Yeah, I appreciate everyone. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's keep it moving. Ace money to name, getting paper to gain. Bounce back like a basketball. Let's get it.